Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and tonight we will answer another question from our friend and his name is Multi-Project Design. I don't know his name, he's just mentioning the Multi-Project Design. Okay, and then uh, this person asked me uh, about a supermarket lighting design. He said, I will assume that he is a he, okay? So he said, I watch many tutorials, videos on your YouTube channel and I want to thank you for the effort you put helping people in this business. In one of your videos about supermarket lighting design, I saw that you were using Zoomtable products and I prefer the same fittings as she did for my project, as in the attachment. So this is the attachment that he sent us. But the results were not satisfying. Minimum average is 0 0.016 which is unacceptable of course it's not and i want to ask if i need to calculate this value without furniture even in that case it's 0.22 or not or is it or is this value okay because my customer asks 800 lux average on the floor and 1500 to 2000 lux on meat and vegetable etc so the minimum average should be low anyways because of the huge difference in lux levels for different areas I hope you can help me about this. Many things in advance, kind regards, without a name. Okay. So for you, Mr. Multi-Project Design, um, you don't need to calculate the whole area of this supermarket. You need to calculate it by uh, location or by specific areas. So right now, I opened my uh, project my project in Dubai which is the Spinis Spinis supermarket and you can see here on the right side of my screen that I have so many calculation surfaces for example I have bakery I have cashier cash counter I have chiller I have corridor of course I have freezer bakery and then um, non halal preparation and then meat and vegetable so for example here in this corridor or um, alley of the shelvings i have one calculation surface and this is on the ground and you can see the value here where is it i cannot find it and it's 843 lux so as per your requirements your requirements is 800 it's good um, yes, so I do the same. I have 800 lakhs on the floor and on the shelvings I have a different calculation surface because in a retail shop or a retail project your calculation must be focusing on the merchandise not on the floor. So you should have a vertical calculation also. You can appreciate your results by uh, creating a vertical calculation surface or you can go to the false color and see if your shelvings on the vertical is achieving the required lux level. On this example, you can see that this one is 1000 lux, this light yellow, and the pure yellow is 750 lux. So the average for this one and this two is like 800 to 900 lux. And if you want to show to your client the value of this, for example, in the meat section, like I have here, this is um, okay. This is not the meat section. It's a it's a fruit section area, and also this one is the uh, bakery area. So you just need to create calculation surfaces for these areas. Like for example, I have here a meat, uh, sorry, a fruit and vegetable area which is 1000 lux and on the bakery I have this one uh, yes and then on this area where is my meat section I think partly it's somewhere here yeah so for every areas in conclusion to your question you need to create what is this uh, this is the bake yeah, this is the butchery area. You can see here uh, on your right side, on the right side of my screen, this uh, mentioned a butchery area. So I have 960 lux with 0.59 overall uniformity, 
and to note of that I still have objects on this um, calculation surfaces and even if I, if I have objects I still achieve the required lux level so for you mr. unknown this is what you should do with your uh, supermarket lighting design all right I hope you learned something tonight and if you want to learn more about supermarket lighting design techniques go to my Udemy course and search for my supermarket lighting design techniques using Dialux Evo. This is not yet published, but it will be published soon. So just watch for it. Okay. And if you want to enroll with my online courses, go to www.enrocolightingdesign.com and you will receive an official certification from Dialux Germany. So just go and check which courses you like to get uh, certified and also to become expert in lighting design. Alright, so see you again on the next video. Good night.